Hi, my name is BJ Meyer with the Wheel Loader Product Group here at Caterpillar, and we've put together a series of operator tip videos to help get the most out of your M-Series compact wheel loader. So let's go take a look. So today, let's run through all the different controls available in the M-Series compact wheel loader to help you get the most out of this machine. Let's go take a look. So I want to go through some of the features of the cab as far as the controls. Now to fully utilize this machine, we have a number of features that are built into this, into this cab to make it the best in the industry. Let's start on the dash. You have an eco mode switch, which if you don't need to utilize the full power of the machine is great to help save fuel. In the center is a red toggle switch for your hazard lights if you need to activate those. You have your lighting options with your driving lights and your rear and front working lights. You have a rotating beacon switch. And then on your steering column, you have your turn signal as well as your wiper functions. Now a great feature of the M-Series compact wheel loader is the multi-function joystick, which includes both forward neutral reverse, third and fourth function. You have your speed range control between speed range one and two. You have your continuous flow button for using your auxiliary hydraulics as well as your diff lock button. Now this is important that they're all built into this joystick because the operator never has to take his hand off of the controls to run the main functions. We also have a fifth and sixth electrical uh, toggle switch on the front that allows the operator to run electrical controls on the work tool such as an angle broom. So if you need to angle it left or right, you can using this switch and it's conveniently located right next to the joystick. Next is your soft touch keypad, which if the machine is equipped with one of our feature packages will be included. You have ride control on or off, which allows the machine to use the front cylinders as an additional suspension. You have your lift and your tilt kickouts. So you can, set, you can set your bucket or your lift levels to where you want them and you can turn them on or off from within the cab. And on the 918, these are also programmable from within inside the cab. Next is your high stat and your implement adjustment settings. So this is a cat only feature that allows the operator to adjust the responsiveness of the forward neutral reverse as well as your lift and tilt based on the operator preference or the application. Next is your rim pull adjustment. This allows the operator to adjust the power to the wheels based on the underfoot conditions so they can avoid wearing out the tires or destroying the ground when they don't have the traction um, to match the power of the machine. So they, they can adjust that power to meet the underfoot conditions. This is a great feature of the M-Series compact wheel loader. And last is your throttle lock. This works just like cruise control in a car. So you push your right pedal down, set your engine speed where you want it, hit the set button, and you're good to go. Now there's a dial just below that soft touch keypad, and this is your ground speed adjustment, also known as creep control. So when running a hydromechanical work tool, you can set your throttle, you can set your hydraulics, now you can adjust your speed to match your application. So for running a broom, you can now adjust that speed down, so now all you have to do is steer the, the machine. This is a great feature that really um, helps the operator be as efficient as possible. Next is your high speed, low speed switch. Now if your machine is equipped with the high speed option, you'll have this switch which allows you to shift into high speed 25 miles an hour on the fly. You've got your key for your key on, and then you've got a number of toggle switches on the right Going from left to right, you have your hydraulic lockout. So if you want to lock out your hydraulics um, for safety reasons, you can go ahead and do that with this red switch. You've got your, if you're equipped with a quick coupler, the switch right here allows you to couple and uncouple that work tool. It's built in with a, a secondary safety feature, so you're not going to hit that accidentally. You've also got work tool electric, which provides a constant electrical power to the work tool Say if the work tool is running a light or another feature that, that they need constant power, you can turn that on or off. And then you get into your defrost, your wiper, your rear wiper. You've got your 12 volt electrical plug for charging your cell phone or other electrical equipment that you need to power. 
And then you've got your air conditioning and heat control. So you've got independent fan speed as well as heat or AC and your adjustable dial to set that where you want it. So that's all the controls that are built into this machine, which really allow the operator to set the machine how they want it and be as efficient as possible. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we hope you found it useful. For additional topics, please see the full array of videos that we have available out on YouTube. And for more information about the CAT M-Series Compact Wheel Loader, please visit your local CAT dealer today.